to the 209 we go. The Lincoln Trojans hosting the St. Mary's Rams. And check this out. It was senior night at Lincoln. Now, the Trojans haven't won this rivalry since 2005. Jonah Komen is going to do everything in his power to end the streak. Here in the first quarter, Komen takes the handoff and the Arizona commit runs it up for the score. Even better, he goes to celebrate with his family. Mama, did you see that? Lincoln takes an early 7-0 lead. Well, here comes St. Mary's. Later in the quarter, St. Mary's ball. Cruz Herrera back to pass. He can't find anyone, so he takes matters into his own hands. Literally. He reaches pay dirt to tie things at 7-7. Now to the third quarter. This play right here, just ridiculous. Don't believe me, just watch. St. Mary's ball, Cruz Herrera, back to pass, throws up a bomb, and like a good neighbor, Jason Calvin is there. Just the way Coach Tony Franks drew it up. All right, now we're going to head on over to the fourth quarter. Less than two minutes to play. The Rams trailing. St. Mary's bounty to come back, and man, Cruz Herrera doing it again. He hits Nasiri. Danielson. Danielson gets in for the winning touchdown. That will do it. St. Mary's wins this thriller 31 to 27, and they are now league champs. Hug it out. To Folsom now. Big matchup in the Sierra Foothill League. The Bulldogs have won every league title dating back to 2012 when they were in the Delta League. The Rockland Thunder, this year's Sierra Foothill champs, but the Granite Bay Grizzlies looking to have sole possession of second place with a win tonight. C.J. Heron, the game's first touchdown. Grizzlies up 7 to nothing. Granite Bay adds to that lead in the second quarter. Noah Mitchum goes up top to James Stabbert. Grizzlies carrying a 21-14 lead into the half. Torre Kendrick has, or Hendrick, shall I say, has two touchdown runs for Folsom. But Granite Bay keeps the Bulldogs on the leash for most of the second half. The Grizzlies claim second place in the Sierra Foothill League. Folsom drops its third game of the season. Now to the Delta League, Elk Grove High School salutes a service night. The Elk Grove Thundering Herd welcoming in the Wolfpack of Consumnes Oaks. Elk Grove looking to enter the section playoffs. Their only league loss is to Jesuit. Now this was a big defensive effort in the first half. The Wolfpack putting the clamps on the herd early on, stuffing the run game, but Elk Grove doing the same to Consumnes Oaks. Radbeer Mauhai picked off twice by the herd the first time from D'Angelo Gonzalez, then again by Christopher Dodson before the half. Both teams go into halftime scoreless. And in the second half, John Heffernan, a happy coach as Elk Grove upends the Wolfpack 34-7 in the second half. The Herd enter the playoff 6-3 overall. Back to Folsom, Vista Del Lago High School, the Eagles and the Sac High Dragons. Eagles take a 33-13 lead into the half. Jacob Hollingshaw. The touchdown to Dominique Polari before the half. Sacramento Storms back in the second half. The Dragons' big sophomore, Lamar Radcliffe. A huge reason why. He's a grown man. He's a monster. You'll be hearing his name a whole lot more over the next two seasons. Namian Brandon hits Devin Stevens for the second touchdown of the third for Sac High. But their rally does come up short. Vista Del Lago takes sole possession of second place in the Capital Athletic League behind Capital Christian. Uh, the Dragons first finished third in the league standing. Now over near Elk Grove, it was senior night at Sheldon. Uh, all senior football players and cheerleaders were honored before the game. Packed house at Sheldon there tonight. The Huskies uh, playing host to the Jesuit Marauders. Now in the first quarter, Sheldon strikes first. Jesuit Machado throws a short pass to Devin Green. And Mr. Green runs this ball like someone from Jesuit stole his lunch money. Anyway, Jesuit would go on to win the game. And I'm 